friends welcome to matlab school in this video we are going to see the simulation of battery charging by using a buck converter and it is controlled by using pa controllers this is the dc supply that we have and the voltage of that dc supply is 48 volts this is the battery lithium ion battery that we are going to charge and the rated our nominal voltage of the battery is 24 and rated capacity is 50 ampere per ampere hour and the soc of the battery is 45 so actually what we are doing here is we are using two pa controllers one to produce the reference current okay and the other thing is to control the uh, switch or igbt based on the uh, current reference and the given input is the voltage reference uh, because the phenomenal voltage of the battery is 24 volts uh, we need to have some voltage above uh, the nominal voltage okay so here we have chosen a voltage of 25.955 to be our reference voltage uh, only if the voltage is above the nominal voltage uh, the battery will charge Okay, so for that reason, we have chosen a value of 25.955. So this is the input reference voltage. And it is compared with the actual voltage. Okay, so from, uh, from the output of uh, this battery, we are going to measure the uh, actual voltage. So this actual voltage is compared with the reference voltage and the reference uh, uh the difference of reference and the actual voltage will give you an error right so this error is given as input to the pa controller <coughs> right see here we have a pa controller uh, since uh, this battery is going to be charged uh, we have to generate a negative reference okay see when the battery is battery is in discharging mode uh, the current will be considered as positive and when the battery is in charging mode the current is considered to be negative so the reference current has to be in the negative direction so for that reason this current is multiplied with the reference current is multiplied with minus one right. this reference current is again compared with the actual current right See, this is the actual current of the battery. It is compared with the reference current. And the generated error will be in the negative direction. So, uh, that, that may not be the understandable form for the PA controller. So, for that reason, to bring it in the uh, positive side, we are multiplying it with minus 1. Okay. So, here we have the PA controller. The output of the PA controller is given to the PWM generator right the switching frequency here uh, given is 1000 uh, 10000 heads the input of this PWM generator should be in between 0 and 1 okay and uh, this uh, gate is connected to the uh, switch of the buck converter actually this is a buck converter as you can see here we have a uh, switch a diode and an inductor this is nothing but an inductor with a small value of resistance an inductor with internal resistance okay so to eliminate the uh, fluctuations or the noise in the signal i am using first order filter here let us simulate the model. Yes, the model is running. Let's see the current. Yes. This yellow color line is the reference and the blue color uh, is the actual value so you can see uh, our model is exactly tracking the reference current 
let us see the voltage yes as you can see the voltage is exactly setting at 25.9 so let us uh, try to zoom it So you can see uh, this is the reference yellow line is the reference line and blue line is the actual uh, value of voltage okay yes. so this model is available for download uh, the link given in the description if you want you can download it and use it okay, okay. thanks for watching the video Kindly subscribe our channel and support us. Thank you.